you guys it is mary and Alma. and we invite you guys to like share subscribe and comment down below because today we are talking about a serious news media that has been out yeah a baltimore woman um shot her husband in the leg for molesting multiple children at her daycare this takes me back to mm. what i always say mm. you have to vet a man you have to listen to your instincts the and instincts because you know at this point i don't know if the vetting he had been with her for a long time my thing is a pedophile cannot hide the way he feels when he sees little kids it's around the instincts. you have to be able to watch a man and really view him like when i look at him i just get like I look at his eyes and I just see a devil. Yeah. Like I see a devil. It's the instincts. Like you have to be able. Like I don't know. Honestly, do Intuition I think? Will yeah. Save you every time. It's so important who you decide to marry. <sighs> it's so important, and I'm not saying she didn't do her homework. A lot of people, women, do not know how to vet or whatever the case may be and stuff like that. Some women are very unaware. That, it's like you're with this man. You have to have instincts. You sleep with him every day. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? You lay next to him. Like sometimes even when you're you're feeling something, you kind of put it to the side because you're thinking, no. You know what I'm saying? Not the person that I'm laying with. Not the person that yeah. I marry. So I don't know if sometimes maybe our ego gets involved. Like it just, I can't possibly have made this mistake here yeah you know what i'm saying you're like uh oh, no but what i like about the story is that there's nothing to like about the story but what i appreciated was the fact that when the kids told her she confronted him but i actually believe that she because i think they went to a hotel or something they went to a hotel it's almost as if as she had the gun with her so i feel like maybe she, she was believed aggressive him. she be she believed the kids when they told her and so when she went, it was to confront him. Not to really ask him, but to confront him and ask him why. Yeah. And to shoot him on the leg. I think she... But why go to a hotel? I would have shot him at home. That way, because it's so easy for a hotel employee to come and say they heard a gun. Like, I just feel like it's... I would have taken him okay. to a park. I would have taken his ass to a park and gone got his ass. And would have... Anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel I wonder, like... You know, she shoot his leg, but I wonder if she was trying to shoot his private... I wonder how far down the Girl, leg. you should have went into target Maybe practice. Maybe she was trying to shoot his private. I don't know. But they I did just, not. I, I think she, she's still in, is she still in prison? She's still in prison. They have interviewed 93 kids from the daycare. Wow. All 93. of them. Wow. And I just wonder, even though this kind of happened maybe under her watch i just wonder if it's gonna be like an issue for her like are they gonna blame her you know what i'm saying i yeah. just wonder if they're gonna blame her and in the end oh my goodness this mosquitoes oh get that spray we have to spray wait it's finished <laughs> it was these spray. mosquitoes are a mess Vicious. oh my goodness yeah like under my leg oh Anyway. anyway, but yes, yeah, so I honestly just feel like it's really a shame. I Do I think she should go to jail? No. Because so. the thing is with the police, the, I, like, I don't want to say... But they her because it's her daycare. You know, I don't want to say they're useless, but they're really useless. They don't do shit until something horrible happens. And then when you try to take matters to your own hand, they say, oh, you should not take in your, take in, like, your own hand into the law. But the thing him. is, if the law was on top of stuff and they were, you know, able to get ahead of stuff before things happen, then maybe people would not take the, hand, the law into their own hands. Well, like, you know, it's I really, ridiculous. I can't say that because did she report to the police? No. So we she don't didn't give know the that though. A chance to take matters into her own hands. They take forever too. though. Like they said, yeah. we have to do interviews. Da, 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 da. Well, if a child comes to you and they have been sexually assaulted and it is evidence, lock his ass up. Like y'all want to take forever yeah. just to prove something. And that might like, have been better for her if she had reported it. They probably would have locked him up and then gone and done the interviews. <laughs> At least he wouldn't be in the hospital recovering from his gunshot wound, and she would be. And she wouldn't be in jail. 
I, because they'll just lock him up. You I know? feel like she should get what is it? Not maybe manslaughter. Uh, Be, well, not manslaughter. I don't think she should get anything really. I mean, if they're if they are hell bent on putting that woman in jail, I think it should be a crime of passion because you came, you put your nasty little wee in the kids that I take care oh, of. I, 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 like uh, it just doesn't make sense to me. You know, it's just sick. And sick. then it's like now she has to go to jail. I feel like she should have gotten bail at least. They could have at least did that. But do I think she should be in jail? No. So I feel... Uh, get the mosquito. Oh, should get the mosquito. <laughs> We're outside. It's nighttime. And there... Uh, there it is. Uh, 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 why are you hitting me? I'm trying to make sure it's not on you. It is. It's somewhere. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> mosquitoes are a mess. We about to go inside. We got three yes, more minutes. Mom, three more inside. minutes. Okay. <laughs> But yes, so there somewhere. That is my scarf I put on my head at night. No, I'm just trying to move it. No, you can tie it like <sighs> this and go like Girl. that. Okay, there you go. There's nothing I can do. But just, yes, just pat my leg back here, please. I know, like, what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> what? But your leg will you be using a lot of f bombs? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's keep it going. I'm, I'm trying sorry. to be better price. Okay. I'm trying. But yes, so I just Ooh, feel yeah. like the whole thing with the man is just yeah. a mess, Sick. honestly. Yeah, and I just feel sad for the woman. I really do. Um, but that's why and it's so important children. to listen to your I instincts. I feel really bad for the kids because those kids are going to be scarred for life. Yeah, you know. And you know, the parents, the parents are going to blame her though. Yeah, cause because it's your husband. It's your daycare. Yeah, and it's your husband, and it's you should have known. You know what I'm saying? But, but you know, I am happy usually... that the kids felt safe enough to, tell to her. go tell her. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, really sad. You know, I just hope that... Because the kids are going to be scarred for and life. she's been married to this guy for a while. I think I said at least five, eight years. She's been married to this guy for a while. Yeah. Ugh. But it's so important to know who the hell you're with. She had to have some instinct about him like that. Because you have red flags, you have there feelings. Are red flags, you know really. what I'm saying? There, there are, are red pebbles, flags, but you have stuff like that. You ha you can't come to love in a place of desperation. It'll be the worst thing you ever do. Yeah. I have seen too many murder shows of women who have gone and got to with men who have gone and killed their whole family and they're looking like you know yeah. i should have did this i should have did that i had yeah. this instinct i had that instinct and it just it was a mess <laughs> mosquitoes are a mess okay we have to do a video just on the mosquitoes in tanzania um and it's nighttime so it's yeah like it's getting anyway we've got to go inside y'all but yes Ugh, that's what the sh don't don't use my hair nets to kill anything it is stopped it stopped over there you should go kill it with your shoe. Okay, go um, get it. it's Mary and Alma. You know what you need to do. We're going to kill some mosquitoes. We invite you guys to like, share, <laughs> and subscribe. And comment right down there. below. Um, but thanks for watching.